Recording is on. Timer is started. Necrosis, welcome to the council. Narrative based adventure game that appears to be some form of procedural murder mystery type of thing. It's got something to do with like um, a secret society in like the 1700s and it's got that ye olde English theme to it. Visuals look good, reviews sound pretty positive. It's supposed to be five episodes in total. Right now I believe there's only two episodes out. So the game is not complete, but it's something of an episodic type of thing, I think. And if I sound a little agitated, it's because I am. We had an internet outage while we were trying to play the game. We were less than 10 minutes in, all cutscenes, and so we're starting from scratch. So if I sound antsy, that's why. Anyways, let's begin. We have save game one. Bam. Settings, I don't really need to mess with. I'm just going to double check. The game does max out my GPU if I max out the graphics settings, so we put it to medium. So something's not quite optimized in there, I think. I mean, it's a 1070 GTX, so it shouldn't be a problem with a modern, properly optimized game. But who knows? Anyways, new game. So this is now the second time I'll be watching this, but... That's okay. France, Paris. This is December 10th, 1792. And the game does visually look nice. It's got a good style. Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. <laughs> Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. Yeah. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. Mm. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. <laughs> you know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. The laxatives, of course. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. Sounds like we're Morty. You have no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. No. -uh. I can promise you that. Stop bitch smacking me. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. Industrial strength laxatives. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Burchard. Von Burchard. Hmm? Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. I'm the protagonist. You're not in any position to do so. I am. I'm the, I'm the protagonist. For the last time. Where is Alazif? The man just I wants his damn this. book. Trust me. So our choices here are to continue his act or to trust Mama. Now Mama's ugly as fuck. 
and not ugly as in the textures and models are bad it's just the art style is in a way that's like that it's actually not bad but god damn are you one ugly woman and he carries her genetic data Ooh. but I want to be a mama's boy no matter what I do, that guy's always going to be bald. No amount of laxatives will fix him. <laughs> so, we trust Mama. Please, be my guest, Mother. Hmm? Ah. <sighs> so, he pulls out a knife and he starts walking towards her and she doesn't shoot him. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. Thanks, How do you Mom. Feel, mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Yeah, you're old. Come on, let's go. And home. ugly. And don't forget to send our men to tend to von Borchert. Tra la 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 la. Like the attitude is really weird. <laughs> Just got out of a sticky situation. Tra la 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 la. It's one month later. No biggie. January twentieth, seventeen ninety three. On Lord Mortimer's island off the coast of England. So it's got that ye old English theme going. Focus Home Interactive and Cyanide present. Necrosos. The, the, the video game. As played by Necrosos. A game by Big Bad Wolf Studio. Featuring my shitty internet provider. Well done, mother. <laughs> you just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island. Oh, his mom's Which, missing. Okay. By the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Looks pretty paradise to me. The Council, Episode One. The Mad Ones. This is episode one of five. Hey, what's the up, Gerbil? he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island. Searching for some long lost mystical object that you just can't live without. She's a Tomb Raider. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well, now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Holm. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Holm, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. Sex orgy. You good, sir? Ooh. What brings you here? So, Jervil, you say you got gobbled up by another ISP? Is it good or is it for the best or for the worst? Well, probably for the worst, but... So, let's see. I got either business with Lord Mortimer or I have personal reason. Um, I hear Lord Mortimer throws the best sex orgies ever. And she's not the ugliest shark in the tank, so... I just got business with the Lord Mortimer, sir. Ma'am? Yeah, Jarvel, chances are, like, it may be for the worst if it becomes a monopoly. That's, that's the main, main problem we deal with in the U.S. <laughs> Oof. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. Mm. To get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? 
You'll see. I didn't need your life story, right. sir. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Yeah, eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. I made it. Indeed. I imagine this must be your first time here. Yeah, I brought condoms. <laughs> like, he said, like, this is not, like, a utopia or whatever, but I don't know. It looks like a fantastic utopia. It's got that, that gothic, old-school goth vampire flair to it. The dress style for the age, everything, it's... The moonlighting, it's definitely got that visual oomph that Necrosis does ever so enjoy. Uh, is my first time here? Is absolutely, or turn the question back to the Duchess. Turns out there is no gobble. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. You were probably using an ISP that was being hosted through another ISP then. Because, like, if I wanted to do that, I could. I could go to, like, my ISP and, like, rent out amount of resources and start my own ISP. But it would still be through them. So, if they have problems, I have problems anyways. That's a different scenario. So, do I want to continue talking with the old guy? Or do I want to talk to the brawless lady in the, the, with the cleavage? Um... Uh... Uh... Uh, old guy, boobies. Um, well, I'm not really a boob guy, so we'll just keep... Absolutely. That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by Lord Mortimer. Indeed. You see. You won't soon forget him. Given what I've seen so far, I wish I'd been passed over. What? Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. Hell yeah, baby. I'm coming, Duchess. A Cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. I would have put on my finest dress. And maybe you right? maybe brought some Tylenol. Did they have Tylenol in the 1700s? Oh. What am I, a werewolf or something? Um, wait. Mother? Oh shit! Whoa. Your hand! She's missing her hand, dude. So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, what Sarah, no one's going to find it. What happened to you? Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, man, what sex? No, no, no. Or, no, that's... What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. What the hell is with this book? But I trusted you. Mom, no, I liked her. She no, had Sarah. Don't! No. No! <gasps> you can what? run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay. <sighs> Uh, you. You. Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Maybe he saw her panties or something, or a nipple slip. You know the the anime style hey, take nose strip. Thanks. I'm gonna bloody up oh, your sorry. little. Sorry. Keep it. Are you better? Fine, baby. I'm fine. Don't worry. Ladies. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and. I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes! I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. Just let her go put on her diaphragm. I'll stall for time. You, you got me. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. So you're paying more Am for I internet? Crazy or, oh. or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? All right, so... I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Okay, mouse sensitivity is way too high. Options, control. Since this is the first time, now we can actually control. Let's set this to about 20... 
Let's try 25% and see how that feels. Much better. If I really want to care, I can use my mouse button macro. I press the button. It's programmed to go in a 360. Although I need to readjust it, I think, because it doesn't like in a different way. Yeah, that's better, but too not sensitive enough. 35. Whoa. I think the game has its own mouse acceleration, which would be a problem. I really wish game developers wouldn't do this. Too sensitive. Options. Controls. We'll go with about 35. That should be okay. It's not a shooter or anything like that. It's... So whatever. So Jarvel, you're paying more for internet now as a result? That, that kind of sucks. So WASD to move, we got the mouse ding, what else do we have? Do we have anything else? I can run. The game is fairly dark. Not sure if it's too dark. Hmm. See, this is usually the kind of... Uh, well, I can't control video options now. That sucks. Some games let you control more video options when once you're in the game as opposed to the title screen. This one takes them away. Some games do that. I hate I I really do don't like that, but Alrighty. So I'm not sure what the hell we just saw. It looked as if he had some sort of like flashback from his mother's perspective shooting that, that duchess. But she's definitely alive and well. Maybe she's a vampire or a werewolf or something. Hey, it's even got that old style of letters where they would uh, seal uh, seal the letter with the wax and then stamp it with the unique stamp. I've always liked that kind of... Oh, collector coins. Okay, so E makes me pick stuff up even if it's like secret items. Alright, fine, I'll just smash E over every freaking thing. What do I care? E. My phone's done charging. You're not paying any more or less? Oh, okay. But you said only difference is it's way more expensive now. So how are you not paying any less or more? Or is it because of your contract your grandfather clawed into whatever the contract stated? In the end, it doesn't matter what you're paying. It's either reliable and good, or it's fucking trash, and life sucks. Oh, did we lose Turbo? No, he's there. Okay, so yeah, you're still bound by the terms of the contract. Fair enough. Grandfather Claus. Oh. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Anything, yes, babe. Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh shit, what is this? Choose your class. I can... There's a class system. What the hell? There's a class system in a, in a murder mystery detective thingamajig. I can be a diplomat. Your diplomat shines in so or, sorry, the diplomat shines in society, a talented speaker. He avoids faux pas and he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of pred predilication. Pred predilection. Predilection? What? I'm not familiar with this word. Predil pred pred uh, this is not a word that's split tongue friendly. Predilection. Sorry. <clears throat> then there's the occultist. In the 1700s, we had occultists, apparently. The occultist is a master of deception. Convinced. Of the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. The occultist is an expert in science and art. Well, it is like the 1700s, I guess, for them. Science and magic may have been one and the same. In fact, like, magic is science. On, or... Phenomena is considered magic until you f get the scientific part of it down and understand it, then it's no longer magic, but... Zero wishes so far, speed is higher, cool. 
Oh yeah, you're in Sweden or something, aren't you? Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. Detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. Choosing a class defines your basic skills. The other skills will still be available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. Oh, man. I don't know how any of this will affect the game or what I want. Do I want to be a better investigator? Skills. Questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility, logic. Manipulation, occultism, erudition, erudition sciences, subterfuges. Politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, and diversion. Ooh, this is a toughie. Because I don't know what the gameplay is actually like. I don't know what... Like, do I want to be more involved in politics, manipulation, or questioning? Agility, logic, science, subterfuge, conviction, and diversion. Um, shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do I want? What do I want? Do I want to manipulate people or do I want to question them? Science or agility and logic? Subterfuges or logic? Um. Mm, I think it's between these two for me. Um. Manipulation. Occultism. Let's go with the detective. We'll treat this as most a detective murder mystery, since it's supposed to be like a procedural murder mystery thing. We'll try out detective. Oh, I can view skills with left mouse. Oh wow, this reminds me of something. What is this? This looks really familiar. Was this similar to the vampire thing? Like just the icons and stuff. So this is detective. Notice noteworthy details or oddly placed elements. That actually sounds useful. Strange. Anything strange in someone's behavior. Read people's behavior like an open book. Use your logical mind and oratical talents. That's very... Okay. Use your coordination against your surroundings and sometimes against people. What, am I going to do like matrix moves and like backflip off walls and shit? The occult one was this one. Rely on your knowledge of myths, occult, and religious symbols, as well as ancient languages and secrets. Blah, blah, blah. Get people to act in your own interest. Benefit from... See, this sounds useful, too. Benefit from a sound cultural background. Be up to date with science knowledge and medical techniques. That's always useful. Medical knowledge is always good. Discreetly steal items, pick locks, notice falsification. Oh, shit. That sounds like the most useful. And then the other one that I'm probably not interested in. Divert people's attention, change subject, avoid questions, translate all kinds of documents. Express your grasp of geopolitical situation. I'm not a politics guy, so... Convince people with your sheer force of your will and your attitude. Adopt the appropriate behavior for every social situation. Also used to formulate flattery or veiled insults. But it doesn't say anything about getting late, so... That's the least interesting. These two seem to be most interesting, and I'm leaning towards Detective with this being the one that looks really interesting. So... Okay, what do we got? We got three available points. Detective unlocks the questioning. You now have seven effort points to use your skills. You, your past granted you one skill point in manipulation, one in psychology. So, get people to act in your own interest and read people's behavior. Okay, so we got those for free. It says we have three available points. Can I, like, spend them on here? Skill not acquired, skill not acquired. So, can I buy any of these? Notice noteworthy details. Unlocks dialogue options and actions. 
Is your mind dead? Yeah, let's go with the detective thing. I don't want to sit here for too much longer than this. Notice worthy details or oddly placed elements. And I presume I can't buy these. It says a skill not acquired. Notice strange in someone's behavior and appearance. This one sounds the most interesting, just because it's noticing noteworthy details or oddly placed elements. I don't know if that involves physical items, like on the floor or, you know, in the corner somewhere. But it sounds like... Good. Notice anything strange in someone's behavior? Yeah, let's do one like that. We'll do like that and see what happens. Apparently you're going to get XP. I don't know how that works, but... people's behavior like an open book yeah all right um validate hold space i know you guys can't see because my stupid face is in the way but it's just confirmation buttons well over the last few years i've solved a number of crime cases like the chauffeur d'angere for example thieves that torture their victims with burning embers hmm charming how did you catch them i told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Hmm. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Nope. So, apparently we don't have a memory of meeting her before. She does. She seems to claim she's got a good memory. And my options are not at all so lie to her, or just say not at all sorry. I see no reason to lie to her. I don't think it'll help get in her pants any easier, so we'll be honest. We didn't do the uh, manipulation one, so maybe that would be more towards that occultist thing. So we shall be honest. Mama's boy, clean cut, mutton chops. Sorry, baby. I don't know who you are. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm, I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Thank Please, you. stop torching me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No, sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt, remember? No? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. You're losing your dude. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Oof. Right, time to go to the manor. Oh, he's not going to get any of that. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. So effort points must be like a mana type of system. Access the skill required for the situation, you just need to have it unlocked. So, opportunities is like basically a free use of skills, whereas effort points forces it, maybe? Validate, hold the space. Oof. Uh oh, what's. What, 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 what is this? Maybe that's the loading screen. Dialogue time. Oh, crap. What did I do? Oh, no. Oh, no. That was... When the time limit is over, an answer is automatically selected. Check the dialogue timer at the bottom of the screen. Was I supposed to push something? It didn't say anything. Oh, no. Click the dialogue timer at the bottom of the screen. Or, no. Check the dialogue. So, you have a time limit on some dialogue thing. I'm heading oh. off. Don't get left no! behind. No! I'm coming. Fuck! Okay, space just... Open this menu. 
Oh man, I missed out on an opportunity already. I, I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Fuck, that's gonna fucking drive me nuts. Because it was probably gonna be like a big obvious sign or something. I don't know, should I press spacebar maybe? You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab menu. So you obtain talents when you carry out certain actions. Oh man, I lost an opportunity to that sucks, bro. Okay, so spacebar opens a map, so we have a map of the area. We have an inventory system. The art of knowing people by their physio not physiognomy. I don't know how to pronounce it. Plus one skill point psychology. Is that something I already had? Oh wait, okay, don't 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 press the right mouse. It closes menus. Emily's hand, hang, handkerchief, given to you by Lady Hillsborough. The blood stain on it is yours. It bears her initials. Maybe we can frame her for my murder if I get killed. I don't know. So this is the invitation we got. I'm writing to you to express my embarrassment regarding the situation, blah, blah, blah. So apparently his mother came out here to Mortimer Island and disappeared. And we had that flashback where she was missing her hand and she apparently shot the Duchess, except she's fine. And apparently was met and... Journal. That's his mom. Very ugly. Since he was just a boy, Sarah's been preparing her son to become the new face of the Golden Order. I think the Golden Order is the secret society that we're dealing with. Here's Emily. I guess we're trying to get in her pants. Um, that's the protagonist, I think. Character. So this is our skills. We've already spent, I think, all our points. Okay, so these are talents. And there's trait. Oh, shit. There's a lot of stuff. Agility, conviction. Oh, maybe it's like, um, like a skill system where as you use skills, they level up. And if you level one up, you get a point to spend or something along those lines. Or you get XP. I don't know. I'm not going to assume too much. You gain one skill point manipulation. Oh, these are the ones we... Okay, cool. Is this visible as a result of my skill? Because we couldn't see items like that before. Royal Jelly restores two effort points. You cannot carry more than five. Press one to use it. Honey, the remedy of the gods. Space to access menu. That doesn't help me yet. Okay. Uh, this is going to be an interesting game, I think. Let me see if the controls are list. Ah, fuck, no, they're not. Okay, so I was hoping it was going to tell me something that I may have missed as far as whatever that dialogue thing was. I see nothing else. It's double checking. Because I'm sure I probably had to, like, left click or hit space or something. Oh. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Okay. Should I go that way or that way? Um, what does it look like? Oh, that looks like a dead end. The only way out. What about that way? And that way? Oh, this whole thing is the only way. Okay. Uh, space. I see we go this way. Or not. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? No, fuck Louis you. Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. Mm. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Indeed are you. You must be either back. Where is Lord Mortimer, or what do you know about my mother? Um... Yeah, what do you... She's... What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured we shouldn't be long in finding her. 
And just what have you found so far? Yeah. It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of capsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. What you say about my mama? Oh, I see a bar. Skills. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost is in effort. Browse your skills by using the character menu. Yeah. So just because it popped up this thing, I can take a moment to think. One is the normal question, something about are there any witnesses, or have you found anything here? Difficulty zero. I think because of that bar on the bottom, it's going to be a timed thing. So maybe I didn't miss an opportunity previously. Maybe there was just, I didn't have the right skills to offer me an opportunity. Yeah, I don't know. And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir. Space huh? to access menu. Hold on. It said something. What did it mean? Where is it? Okay, so there's the jelly thing. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what we just got. But... Alright, whatever. Wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Discovered vulnerability. Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. Reasonable. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see I'm her. Son, give it I to me. know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. I've got a lot of options here, don't I? Let me, let me have it. I'll take care of it. This is the one that has a logic level of one. Difficulty zero. So if I had a manipulation skill set, I would be able to do that instead. Conviction. So I think it's probably best to, to subscribe to one of those three tiers. And since we're going the detective route, we'll stick with the whole logic thing. Give, Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Mm -hmm. Well... I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yeah. Yes, but invited by your master. Your master. Of course, but... because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. I... And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Gimme, give gimme. Give here you are. I must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. Well, that went well. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? So it's not that big of an island, apparently. And his mother might be hiding here. Hold down middle mouse to move faster. Fuck that, I'll just use shift. Okay. Going this way. Should I investigate this item? Or just examine it? Mother's handkerchief. I'm already hypothesizing. We have Emily's handkerchief, right? I can't view it. No. I didn't know if it would let me examine it, but it looked really damn similar to the one Mother's was. Just different initials. Is it possible that uh, somebody made a fake one with my mama's initials? Hmm. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Royal Jelly. 
Oh man, this game is so dark. I need more stuff. Hey, there's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Um, I don't have the agility thing. It says difficulty three. And it would cost me three points. Um, just examine it for now. Somebody replaced it recently. It looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. I'm sure this is not going to work. I don't want to spend those points just yet. Ah, uh, shit! It's not coming up. I'll never manage it barehanded. I need something to lever it with. Try using your wiener. I guess this is the brute force method. But I don't want to spend three points yet. So I'm going to stand back for now. We'll just make a note of it. It looks like there is something underneath those floorboards. Like a box of donuts or something. Maybe there's also like something that might be a oh shit. Okay, don't press space. Uh, stand back. I thought I saw some other item earlier. Not this, but like, like doesn't that look like a hammer or pickaxe or something? Maybe it's just a shadow. Open the gate. It's locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Crap. Ah. If I had the occultist thing, I might be able to pick the lock. But I don't have that ability. The detective route gives me the agility that I may be able to do stuff like rip apart this floorboard. We're not going to do that yet. Hopefully I don't regret that decision. Sensitivity feels off. That might be a little better. Hey. Yeah, he said, like, why would mom want bar barrels? Maybe she's building, like a, like, a raft or something. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't seem like that big of an island either, so... If she's hiding here, why would they be having... It's like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Indeed. Noted. Oh shit, I can investigate even more of these. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Oh, these are some of the people's belongings. Royal jelly. Oh, hey. Give me that. I need that to break the floor. Like bar from an old gate. Give me. Take it. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Take it. This might just come in handy. Yeah, we can smash someone's face in with it or something. So this must be a hell of a fucking party if people are bringing, like, chests worth of belongings with them to the island. Maybe it's like a longer thing. It's not just like a one-night thing, maybe. I don't know sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. You're a sack of seeds. Is there more stuff for me to investigate? Because I have a feeling I can use that bar to pry open the thing, right? The floorboards? I think there's like more stuff unlocked after that dialogue. Some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. Indeed. Apparently we can't take it. The lantern. Nothing special. Can I have it? It's really dark. Nothing else. Oh. What is this? Let's see what's hidden inside. Oh, this is the letters. Ooh. Um. Can I just... Let's look. This is a bad idea. Who the hell is Corey? 
It's too badly written. I, I can't make out the address. Damn chicken scratch. Envelope has ideograms. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Is it Chinese? Oh, we don't have any linguistic skills. I have the slightest idea what it says. So it looks like the game can significantly change depending on which way you build your class, so to speak. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Okay, so something to London. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. We're gonna need some on, boys. Oh boy. Oh, even. This doesn't look suspicious. Dutchman. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Occultism. This name sounds familiar. Pashi, Pashi, Pashi. No. I can't seem to place it. If it wasn't 1700, you could Google it. Oh shit. Lots of occultism seems involved with these letters. Although this one looks like it's got etiquette, neither of which is my specialty. Nope. It doesn't ring a bell. This is interesting so far. I kind of like it. That was that. Go back to the. Okay, just stand back. Alright, so there was something I could have done logic with cost a lot of those points. I don't know if I want to investigate and use those yet. I don't know if I proceed if I'll be allowed to come back. I don't... Not knowing that kind of bothers me. Because it might be better to use those etiquette points, perhaps. I don't know if it's like you can get a game over, or if you just get stuck, or what. But, I'm going to check those floorboards again. Now that I have the... The, that iron bar, maybe I can use it. Maybe. Use the rusty iron bar. That does it. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. That better not be the, the book. Mysterium Cosmographicum. Okay. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? So we took the book. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain per permanent skill points. Ooh. Find a manuscript by using the inventory menu. Okay. Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Laxatives. An iron key completely rusted. If it's rusted, it's probably useless, but I'll take it. You never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. <laughs> Watch, we, we end up being the one that kills Mother because all her specialized hidden possessions were stolen by us. Examine the food. Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and some bread. That's not going to keep... The fruit's still firm. And the bread's a bit stale. Ew. From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. Shit, those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap, some oils, and her powder puff. But what does all this mean? Is she building a bomb, maybe? With the barrels and stuff? Like, obviously the mother knows something big. Examine the powder. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. Maybe it's tea. You know, the people love their tea, right? Take the bag. Right. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to Mother when I see her. Assuming she doesn't die. Crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? 
I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. She had a flashlight, that would be awesome. The game is so dark. What do we got? Why would she have a key to this little area anyways? This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. Someone's armed. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Is it like a premonition of things to come, perhaps? Royal jelly. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh-huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. I don't have science. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, too. That one sounds like the mother's trying to arm herself. What is it? Amber fragments. You found an amber fragment. Each time you pick up four, you'll increase your max effort points by one. Okay. Amber crystals. Can I read any manuscripts right now? Uh, what, what was the name of the book? Wasn't it this? Oh, oh okay, that didn't, that didn't help. Maybe not. I thought it was in my inventory, though. Collector coins. We're still learning, but I'll become the greatest detective the old England peoples will have ever seen. As soon as somebody dies and gives me something to really investigate, then my skills will truly shine. I think I'll use the like three of those points on um, doing the whatever was going on with those notes, because there was an option. Since we saved three points by picking up the the bar to pry up the floorboards, let's see what's hidden inside. I don't think there's such a convenient alternative, but see, there's fine clues. Ah, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order, and I'd recognize your handwriting anywhere, Mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing? Pronounce douchebag. I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You never talk to anyone using language like this. Something's going on here. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Manuel Godoy that you keep bringing up? Think, Godoy, Godoy. Think, come on. Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? Looks like I don't have any politics, so can't do anything there. I can't remember. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. I got a feeling Mother's so, going to disappoint him. Let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of the wharf in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. 
So odd. So very odd. And that's not even all I've noticed. But maybe I had to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. At least I hope so. So it looks like the hint says, hey, go to the ma- What was that? Proceed on to the manor. Let's take a momentary break here.